Hi, this is Ashwarya. Welcome to my channel, All Things Venus. It's about makeup, hair, skincare right now. And in the future, I also plan on making Vedic astrology videos. This video is all about online shopping with me. We're going to read about the formulation, a little bit of ingredients, how I select. Basically, I'm seeing if I can find a holy grail in drugstore or not. I have this shade card. Select the shade and I place the shade card next to it. So today the foundation that interested me is Faces Canada All Time Pro. So we're going to play a game called Spot the Shade, which is going to be a continuation of our previous videos where I talked about how to select the right undertone, different foundation shades, how to know what's your shade, everything. So the first shade here is Ivory. This is my shade card. Uh, basically the foundations that I have, I've swatched them on this card and I know which looks how on my skin. So I use that as a reference. I'm not just dependent on what the website has to offer. This one here is Maybelline uh, 128, uh, L'Oreal next to it. And this is Lacme in the shade beige. I know this color suits me really well. It's got a little bit of peach and yellow. Uh, Maybelline 128 also suits me, but it can look a little bit yellow and this one just disappears into my skin like that. This is Cool Undertone, Estee Lauder. Double Camouflage in the shade Medium D. This is Warm Undertone, MAC NC42. You can see how warm, how yellow this looks and how tan and pink this looks. Uh, this is uh, N125, not Y. This is uh, N125 Makeup Forever HD Foundation. It's going to be discontinued, but this is a neutral shade. We're going to use this as a reference. Cool Undertone, Warm Undertone, Neutral Undertone. This is my perfect shade. This one and this one also suit me. This is uh, neutral, Chambord 301. Neutral as in it's a combination of yellow and peach, not that it's devoid of pigment. And this is uh, Maybelline 128. These two also suit me really well. I place this next to the swatch. And now I compare. We are playing a small game called Spot the Shade, which is an extension of the previous, 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 previous video of uh, how we use color theory and implement it in foundations. I'm not just explaining color theory. We are only talking about the implementation of it. The first one is 01 Ivory. So this is a very, very fair, very pink complexion, um, like a very cool undertone. Not NC, NW15. That's the shade. How to select the right foundation shades. We talked about different undertones in yellow. So we talked about Badami Rung. To me, uh, Zero to Natural looks like Badami Rung. Badam shade, but slight neutral undertone. Not as uh, cream color as Badam. Matlab, you remove the chill ka, under ka. It's got like that off white color. Na? Zero three beige, I would say, is a good wheat color if you're tan. So if you Gehu Rung ke hai, or if you are NC30, hai, then I think this is good. Uh, zero Four is a beautiful, beautiful, warm undertone. These are the colors I love. The pigment they add to the skin. Skin looks so healthy and nice. Uh, the sand, I would say, is also wheat color, but it's somewhere in between the Gehu undertone and the Haldi undertone. It's not exactly as yellow as NC42. So I can't say Haldi undertone. But it's somewhere in between. Now, 05 Olive Beige, tan shade I almost with little yellow like a little bit of haldi yellow undertone but not very brightening uh, almond beige 06 i think this is the darkest shade hai. and i would say this is also for wheat undertone but darker shade so undertones and shades are different okay uh, it could be a light shade and a warm undertone or it could be a really dark shade but still a very light yellow undertone so I'm going to uh, not use my better judgment this time. Not going to buy sand. I'm going to buy the shade natural. I, I want to see what happens when I just follow what uh, the website has offered, the swatches and the models. Uh, now we wait for it to arrive. How I select the formulation. I'm a dry skin and I have uneven texture. So that's a fact. Now let's talk about preference. I love a glossy, glowy aesthetic for skin. Uh, even when I do matte, I do like demi matte. I never do 100% matte. And uh, in terms of texture, I like a very smooth, even texture that glides over the pores, like that typical silicone slip formulations. And in terms of coverage, I like full uh, or medium. I don't like sheer. So that's about uh, my preference and what I look for. So like this, you narrow down, narrow down the facts of your skin. What is the texture? What is your skin type? That's a fact. Next is your preference. 
40% formula infused with red orange extract, okay, protects the skin, perfects, improves the skin, okay, gold particles, render a natural radiance. Every time a foundation or a product has said that they have gold particles or any kind of particles, what it essentially means is they have refined shimmer. Now, I don't like shimmer in my foundation uh, because it sort of exaggerates your pores, which I don't like. And I don't want to use primer every day. But since it has that uh, gold particles running through it, I think I'm going to have to, like, we are going to have to use primer with it. You can not use it and it would still look good in photographs, but in person your pores will be visible. That's one thing I've noticed with foundations that have a little bit of shimmers running through it. And Max Factor uh, Miracle Touch Foundation in the shade Warm Almond that I used many years ago had those shimmers. L'Oreal uh, True Match Foundation also has a little bit of those shimmers. Um, if you don't have large pores, then it's okay. If you are somebody who's 16 years old, then that's okay for you. But I am not. So not okay for me. Formulated best for Indian skin tones. They are running a little short in the shade range department. Let's take a look at ingredients. The first ingredient is fruit water, orange fruit water. Citrus, okay, so it's vitamin C, so I have to wear sunscreen with it now. <laughs> okay, I am seeing glycerin in the first six, seven ingredients. I love that because I'm dry skin girl. My skin benefits from glycerin. PEG 10 dimeticone, which means it's got that silicon slip. I love that. Uh, about psychohexasilicone. Psychohexasilicone and cyto, uh, cyclopentasilicone. These two really help in blending the foundations and uh, making it look very natural and they give it that very thin texture. So what these two do is you blend the foundation and then these two products, they evaporate. So first, they give that little bit of emollients to blend and once it's blended, within few minutes, poof, which is the reason why they look thin on your skin. It looks like a thin veil because only pigment and skincare is left. The filler element is evaporated. The emollient element that we use for blending is gone so that's good that's good i uh, my most my favorite lacme uh, cc cream 9 to 5 in beige that one has cytopentasilicone and i know it blends like this uh it's not all that friendly for skin it does have fragrance which i don't understand why do they put fragrance in skin products uh talc mica uh, oh they have cytopentasilicone but it's like really at the bottom so I know it's going to blend really well looking uh, at this foundation. It's going to have a very thin liquidy formula looking at the formulation. So it preserves the life of skin cells, protects the skin from environmental factors, improves skin reaction to chemical stresses. Not understood what it means, but okay. 40% of the formula is infused with 100% certified red orange extract. Okay. I love skincare in my foundations. Really excited to see if this will be my next holy grail so to check out this foundation faces canada in the shade 02 natural click here right now and if you like the smoky eye i made this smoky eye with diy coal this is for puja you get a little bit of this black whole eye look using only this how to do that you can click here and if you are still worried as to how to select the right foundation shade then i've made some videos on foundation shades different undertones like few weeks ago you can check that out